Praise the Lord, everybody. How y'all doing out there? All right, it's Tish Angelish here. I want to come to you guys right now uh, with a dream and then a confirmation to a dream on some videos that I did several months ago that I had no idea, no clue of what in the world it meant. But I knew it was a word from the Most High Yah. Like I sincerely knew that. And so I knew it was so important because the dream was just too clear and too concise. I knew it was a word from the Most High Yah. So I put the dream out. The dream, I didn't know what it meant, was some worms that people were literally running from. And I kept having this reoccurring dream. And I'm like, okay, I got to put this out, although I, I don't know what it means. And I told y'all that in the video. I'm going to find those videos from months and months and months ago and link it here. Um, I don't know, in the description box and or the comment section. I may do both. But so look for those. Anyway, somebody sent me a Rumble free speech channel Rumble video about the fact that they put the the substance from the jab under a microscope and it literally looks like worms yes it's a l i e n you know entity or whatever you want to call it from the whatever you want to call it from the jab some people call it pudding some people are calling it different things but from the juice the juice from the jab yeah they put that under a microscope and it, it literally looks just like a, a worm so that had to have been, because I ain't never been dreaming about people running from worms before. So I just wanted to let y'all know that, all right? Very prophetic, which I knew it was, although it sounded crazy. I did the video, even though I didn't even know what in the world it was. I just knew it was from the Most High Yah. You know, and prophecy comes in part. A lot of times we don't have the interpretation, but we'll understand it better by and by. I thank God for that confirmation. You guys um, pray about getting that, that jab. Because that was uh, several dreams and several warnings. People were running from that stuff. And I'll go back and rewatch the videos too. Because I'm sure there's some details in there that I need to see. Alright, so getting down to the prophetic dream from last night. So I dreamt about evangelist prophetess Tiffany Moyer. She may be pastoring right now with her husband. Now her last name is Wilson. Okay, not somebody that I watch all the time. Um, I enjoy her preaching, but I'm more drawn to you know, prophetic, because that's, you know, what I am, but I, you know, she does both, you know, she's a powerhouse preacher, and um, so, yeah, let's get on down to the dream, all right, in the dream, she opened up her house, her home, for me to come and stay a few days, and the hospitality that she showed to me was just beautiful, beautiful is all I can say I don't remember every intricate detail but I remember seeing her family you know they took me in just like I was one of them and she was so down to earth it was just like I had been knowing her my entire life and the Bible says that we will know one another by the love that we have for one another the Bible says love your neighbor as yourself and I remember my mother was there. They let her come to her family, except that me and my mama. And my mama was kind of bossing me like she's a little bit bossy and had me sorting some socks or something or sorting some clothing. I remember that in the dream. And uh, Tiffany was very nice. And I remember looking at her and receiving a download as I was looking at Tiffany. The Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadash said she will do whatever I tell her to do. That was made known to me that she's all right with God and she'll literally do whatever. She's a part of the bride of Christ. I was also showed in another a dream that she's the 144K elect. I was also showed that in a whole nother dream years ago. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, and I never released that dream. So now I'm seeing her again. I've seen her a few times. All right. So I was showed that. And in the dream, I needed a friend at that time in the dream. And because I needed a friend, God touched her heart to invite me to her house for a few days, even though I was a complete stranger. And she did it because of the fact that she'll do whatever God tells her to do. So I want to insert this. Several years back, there was a couple of girls, okay, 
Daughters of Zion, that posted some critiquing against her of the fact that they didn't like the fact that she had posted on Instagram some things involving fashion um, and some things involving some stuff she had bought. Okay, and I want you guys to know that just because people make videos against people and certain people are not okay with other people, just because somebody is not for one person, different people draw different audiences. And just because we are not able to buy certain things, like maybe we are not able to buy certain handbags, it still don't mean that that person is not all right with the Most High Yah. That's just, it's different. It's a different thing with an opinion and a real word of God. It's a different thing between what I would like and the person that I am drawn to. And then the fact that if God has a problem with that individual, because sometimes people are looking with unclean eyes. Sometimes we are not drawn to certain people because of different personal reasons, because like maybe we're not into everything that a man or a woman is into. A man or woman of God may be into health and fitness. That means that all day post is not going to be uh, with preaching and teaching. They also have a, a body, a soul, and a spirit. And they also have interests. They also have hobbies. They might be into flowering and planting. So I may not be drawn to those posts. But do that mean that they just a sinner? Do that mean that everything they do is against God? Not necessarily. It could just be because... I am not able to buy a purse. I'm just using me. I'm not able to buy a purse, so I really am not drawn to that person because we, we tend to attract what we are. Everybody ministry, just because a person is not for you, that ministry is not for you, still don't mean that God done told you to make a video. And I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about these women that made these videos. Don't mean that just because you don't like what they did. Don't mean that God gave you the right to judge and put a video out. It don't mean that the word that you put in out is of God. The Bible said that the same measure that you judge will be judged back unto you. And if we're looking with unclean eyes, if we're looking with biasness, if we're looking in the fact that I can't buy that today, so I'm going to bash this person or make a video about it. It don't mean that that word came from the most high yah and that go for me, you and anybody else. So in the Bible say, be slow to speak. Now, if you know that God then gave you a word and I'm saying people that love to just get on here real quick and make videos and not knowing if it's really of God. It's the difference between an opinion, me having an opinion. Well, I don't think she ought to do that. Then God telling me and showing me that that person is in sin. So why would I just be hasty to come on here and make a whole video to tear down somebody ministry. God is not in that. God is just, if, if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Whether that go for me, you, the pulpit to the back door. So I just wanted to clarify that. Now, if it's God, it's God. If God really told you to do that, then do it. But just make sure it's God. Try the spirit. And see if it's of God. A lot of times people don't try no spirit. They don't try their own spirit. They don't search their own heart. If you looking with unclean eyes, you're not going to be able to see clearly. So how are you looking today? What is the status of your inner man? While you looking and judging men and women of God. Oh, somebody help me in this place. Up about Shonda the Mohande. I see a lot of people. They, we think, too, let me tell you something else. We think we equal to these gifts. We not equal to these gifts. You can get 99 things right and then slip up and, and get a dream or a vision and say, you know what? I done got all these other things right, so I ain't about to pray on this. Because I done got all. You see, you see how people do videos and they get things right and then they, they be presumptuous and they slip up and get something and they don't seek God about it. And they give a date and the junk don't happen. It don't go down like whatever they say. I believe that it's going to be the three days of darkness on such and such date. And it don't happen. That's because they, they got zealous, see, because they got some stuff right. So they thought that everything they got was going to be right. Then they wind up being wrong. It can happen to anybody. So the Bible say, take heed, lest we fall. Pride comes before fall. We can get a whole lot of stuff right, but that don't mean we write about everything. We'll never be equal to these gifts. I'm not equal to my gift. I get so many things right, 
then I get people that tell me, I say, they be like, you want to put the video out yet? And I be like, no, I'm still seeking God. You got to trust in God. I said, no, we, I got to wait a spirit because I can be wrong too. It's, I might get 99 things right, but that don't mean I'm right about everything because anybody can miss God. I don't care how many things you get right. We'll never be equal to these gifts. And I'm telling you, we got to be careful because when you put something out like that, the same measure that you judge, it will be judged unto you. I see a lot of people, you know, making these videos of their own personal feelings against someone. And they make a whole video about somebody. I'm just saying, be careful. I'm not saying that everybody wrong now about the videos that they make against people either, because some of them could be right but but they got to know that you got to come with more than an opinion you got to come with more than a feeling you got to be coming with more than I don't like her because she able to buy something that I can't buy the well list God got people that can buy it and that don't mean they not saved. that don't mean that they not holy that mean that a man that don't work shouldn't eat that mean that they was able to afford it on that day and one thing about it is name brand bags in Goodwill I don't feel bad if I go to Goodwill and get mine for $20 and she paid $500. I ain't mad at her. But God wants us to be happy people, joyous, but by son, that are the most shunned. Joyous people, loving people. Because see, man look at the outside. But God looking on the inner man. Man may look at the fact that she thinks she all that. She got money. I know her heart ain't right because she got money. Are you sure? Because God is the one that searched the heart. God is the one that see in the heart. And while you looking, what's the status of your inner man? Are you hating? Or did you really get a word from the Most High Yah? We got to be careful. And everybody not for everybody, but that don't mean that they ain't men and women of God. Every post not going to be about God. Sorry if it offends you, but people got other interests. Some people into gardening. Some people do like to shop. They know their budget. That's between them and God. What I got to do with that? Some of us just need to mind our own business and get a life instead of making a video on every and any little thing that we don't like about God people. And that don't mean that they ain't God people because they ain't all right with us. That just mean that you ain't going to run with that person. That just mean that you prefer not to be looking at that because you can't afford it right now. It could be that. It could be you hating, but try the spirit by the spirit, try your spirit and see, is it of God? Don't be presumptuous. That's the thing. We think because we get stuff right that we just a judge and a ruler over everything. Everything I get going to be right. And we untouch, uh, unlearnable, unlearnable, unteachable, untrainable because we done got uh, something right. We just run with stuff. Now, if you write, you write. If God done gave you something, and you know it's right. But it's going to be more than an opinion. Opinion. It's, it's a difference between how I feel about somebody and if it's a word from God. So I'm sorry if this offends somebody. But we all got to give an account. And we think that what we do sometimes, we so quick that, you know, it's, it's just literally, it's okay with God. Because of the fact that we done been used in a certain kind of way. It's okay with God. Because I got all this stuff right over here and it happened. That don't mean that it's okay with God. The stuff that we take for granted. That's the stuff that God is looking at. Only God can search a person's heart. We may be looking on the outside. But God know that that's the woman of God that will literally take a complete stranger in. That don't mean that somebody is haughty. You looking on the outside. You looking at the fact that they can post what they bought. You looking at the fact that they can buy something named brand and therefore they can't be a man or woman of God. But it's God that knows that that person will take a complete stranger of a different status, socioeconomic status. Because I don't, I, I'm not interested in a bunch of shopping, but I always been, you know, always been that way. But uh, I can do better. I can care about myself a little bit more and stop. See, I'm a person that I put everybody above me. I buy for everybody in the house, but leave and neglect my needs. But that's because of how I was raised, you know? Yeah, that's because of some personal things 
you know, like I, I wasn't well kept, you know. I wasn't well kept, and I'll leave it like that. Yeah, I was adopted. A lot of people thought I was a foster child. They didn't even know that I was adopted because of how things were in my house, all right? And I'm going to leave that like that, but I've, I've gone through a lot. So me and this woman are very different, and she did not care, but she took me in. Yeah, I can, I can do better, you know. There's a lot of times that I don't tend to myself. And, and sometimes we don't tend to ourselves, and God wants us to make ourselves more presentable. So if everything that, that everybody say may be a sin, it may not be a sin. In God's eyes, it's not what I say and this person say and that person say. God wants his people to be well kept. That don't mean that you are not saved because you care about your appearance. And because you buy a handbag, that's petty. That's petty. But that ain't got nothing to do with God. Well, uh, the Bible say a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. God wants us to be balanced people. Balance. Okay? Balance. Love your temple. Treasure your temple. Take care of yourself. God wants us to be balanced people. Take care of your household. Take care of your children. Spend time with them. Balance. Have a hobby. Have an outlet. Even Jesus went to the water. Balance. So just because people, men and women of God, have hobbies and interests that we don't have, it still does not mean that this person is shopping over budget. And it still don't mean, in my opinion, of what they post, every little thing that they post, mean that they not a man or a woman of God. Okay, so <laughs> I love you all in Jesus Christ's name. Have a blessed and wonderful week. I thank the Lord for bringing me out. I thought I wasn't going to make it last month. I was in the hospital for a whole week. Thought I wasn't going to be able to come home and see my children. Oh, but the grace of the Most High, yeah. And God gave me a healing. He told me, I'm going to heal you three times faster. Thank you, Lord. Three times faster than a person that don't have what you have. The Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. He's a doctor in the sick room. And he came down and healed me. I was able to come out of the hospital in like a week's time. And I just got to the hospital again. I went in on Friday. And God blessed me all over again. He keeps on healing me. He keeps on doing great things. And uh, no, it wasn't the C. It wasn't that. The COVID, it wasn't that. I'll say that, but it was complications after my surgery at the end of August. Uh, my mom's in the hospital in Georgia. Y'all, please keep my family in prayer, and I'll pray for you guys as well. She's going through some things, and hospice came out on Monday. She's paralyzed on the one side. She's been that way for some years. Hospice came out and set up at my brother's home on Monday. Just buried my grandmother on my father's side. And just been going through many different tests and trials. But I'm here. So, you know, we all come from different backgrounds. And diff we have different interests. But it's one thing to say that that person's not for me. Because you're going to draw what you are. You know, like people kind of draw like people. And it's a difference between, you know, is that person and their ministry for me? Or is the fact that I'm not able to do what they do so I'm just not feeling that person right now. Your, your situation, your financial situation might change. and You might be able to buy something and then find it more easy to look at a person and see that they're doing good, you know? So it's more than one way to look at something. And just because uh, somebody is not all right with somebody else don't necessarily mean that... Uh, they not all right with God because I was shown very clearly that God is pleased and said, whatever I tell her to do, she going to do it. The Bible say, love thy neighbor as thyself. They will know us by the love that we have for one another. The love of God is in her heart. Yes, Tiffany Moria Wilson. I was shown that. All right. So I love you all in Jesus Christ's name. And uh, take our dreams and visions to the Lord, whether it's for me, you, or anybody else.
got to take it to the Lord in prayer. And if it's you that's going through this, that's all right, too. God loves us all, and all we got to do is pray to him, and he will create in us a clean heart and renew the right spirit in us because we ain't going to always have, you know, we're going to fight in this flesh until the day that we die. We're not going to always think the right thing, and it's always something to learn. It's always something for me to learn. I got to be taught. Every day I'm learning. Every day I'm seeking God. Every day I'm questioning myself. Every day I'm counting up the cost. Every day I'm going to the Lord. Because if we think that we are something and we are not, the Bible say we deceive ourselves. All right? So I love you all. And I just thank God for being here and being alive. He brought me out. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thought I wasn't going to make it. Thought I wasn't going to come out. But God brought me out. I love you all in Jesus Christ's name. I'm not ready to give the full testimony on what God did for me and, and what I was in the hospital for. Um, but I don't want to start crying right now. But he did it. I love you all. Thank <laughs> you.